All right, if you see, it's about to pour down. But what I'm doing right now to the boat, I have it covered. This is gonna rain, so I usually keep it covered. But I took all the rope out of the anchor locker. Today I'm doing a little change on the rope. So I took all of it out from the anchor locker. The problem I'm having here is, and I don't know what it is, sometimes on the windlass, this rope's getting caught on it. Um, but if you look at the new rope that is in the locker, it is very flexible. And it looks like once you use this rope for a little bit, it starts getting kind of worn out and brittle with the uh, windlass. Let's see how my stuff is getting there. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this end and I'm gonna tie it up inside the anchor locker. And I'm gonna use that brand new rope to attach it to the anchor. I'm gonna try to make this braid to the rope, see if I can do it. I've never done it before, but I'm gonna try. It looks like a high quality, but I don't think it's not. Uh, it looks kind of rough. So later on, once this rope gets a little bit more worn out, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw it away and buy a better rope. But I still think this rope is good. Got about 300 and 50 feet of it. Yeah, it's gonna get ugly. Right now it's supposed to be like 10 foot seas because there's about almost 25 miles per hour winds out there. Yeah, you don't wanna get caught on that kind of weather in the ocean. Boats like this cannot handle that kind of wind. All right, let's see how we do this. We're gonna need this, or you can use a lighter. Whatever works for you. I like more, I like more fire and a piece of wire. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this rope. And to prevent from uh, splitting, I'm gonna burn it a little bit. That's it. I gotta close the hatch on the boat because it's gonna rain. Uh, this is the part that's gonna be tied up to the boat inside the anchor locker. It looks like the storm is almost here. So I'm gonna keep on working here under the garage and this is the new rope see how new it looks now we're gonna grab this one and like I say I don't know why that rope gets so rough like that so I'm gonna tie the rope right around here so that way the rope does not uh, unbraid on me so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna braid the whole rope yeah there's a uh, bad weather brewing in the Atlantic let me show you here in windy.com and if you zoom here where the Bahamas is there's 29 miles per hour winds it's very rough and if you want to check out the uh, waves look at the waves seven foot seas and if you go a little bit higher eight foot seas, nine, 10 foot seas. So definitely getting caught in this weather, you're gonna have a, a little situation going on. So make sure you never get caught in nothing like that. All right, windy.com is really good. 
uh, used it. It's been recommended to me by pilots. So, one of the best apps. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna try. You don't lose nothing by trying, so. Never be afraid of trying anything, because that's how you're gonna learn. In my case, I've never done this before, but how hard can it be? It's just like braiding a hair. You can learn that when you go to Jamaica. Now that I have this like this, I'm gonna grab the chain. And let's do something here. Since this strands, just get a little piece of tape and tape them. You can feel the cold air from this storm. And that's what really affects the ocean. That cold air and that warm water. It's not a good thing. It's not that good. I got all the corners already taped. That way they don't get split on me. Okay, I got this two all the way down here. I'm gonna get another one, put it right in from the opposite side. This two. And now the fourth one, I'm gonna go from the other side. Now we're gonna tug on it. Now I'm gonna get all these threads and thread them through the uh, rope. I'm gonna remove this piece right here. I know you're supposed to do it in a good order but I'm not gonna keep this row for a long time. So now what I did, I hang the rope in the garage. That way I can see my threading better. So all I'm gonna do is grab all these threads and thread it all the way through randomly through the rope all the way up here. So that way that rope is attached completely through here, thread it, and then burn the corners. You see right now, so far, I've threaded right through the rope. Like maybe about an inch. So I gotta keep threading this all the way through to the top to make it disappear. So that way it fits through the windlass. So now I've got this tool to poke through the rope to open these uh, threads up. See how easy it is now to open them up? So that way I can get the thread in there. What you want to do is get the bottom one first and keep threading up. Much easier with this poker right here. Now that I have finished all the threading, all these excess uh, threads here, I'm going to burn them up so that way it's really smooth and it fits through the uh, windlass. Alright, that's your finished product right there. Doesn't look professional, but it's gonna work. Looks clean and looks very strong too. Now all I gotta do is put all the anchor rope and chain back into the anchor locker and should be done. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.